but you're your area. Welcome back to Harbaugh. Just two days to go to the election. I'm sorry, 12 days with John McCain slipping in some polls. Are Republicans prematurely jumping onto themselves and blaming each other? With us now is MSNBC's own Pat Buchanan and the New York Times columnist Bob Herbert. I was grabbed by a couple of these things, gentlemen. Uh, first of all, for the first time, John McCain is really, I think, succeeding in separating himself from uh, the Bush administration, and he has to do it. But uh, th today, he's going out there, actually last night, saying he has, it is the president is responsible for all these generations of debt we're now going to face because of too much spending. The president's responsible for Medicare expansion that hasn't really been financed. The president's responsible for a lot of things that are going wrong right now. In fact, the problems of the country politically. And then you have a senior Republican advisor. It has all the earmarks that probably been Karl Rove, a very senior person who gets the protection of the press here. His name is blaming basically McCain now for not blaming the Democrats for what's going wrong. I wanted to start with Bob on this. Usually when one side starts to blame itself and it gets out, they're losing. Well, it's not a good time politically, of course, but the issue for McCain when it comes to the voters is um, where's he been? I mean, the, this debt has been ratcheted up for the longest time now, and in fact, you know, he's blaming uh, Bush and the administration, but, you know, it's, it's broader than that. It's the Republican Party. If you go back to the um, deficits that were run up under Reagan and uh, Clinton began to get it back under control, actually balanced the budget, and now they've just skyrocketed. And we've got this economic mess, and the, uh, however this presidential race goes, the voters are blaming the Republican Party much more than they're blaming the Democrats. So this is a hard sale for John McCain, I think, with less than two weeks to go until Election Day. Well, the question, you're the keeper of the flame, Pat. You're an ideologue. You don't, you don't back the party just because it's Republican. No. You back it because of what you believe in, sure. right? Sure. It hasn't been true to its beliefs. Enough not to pay for it. In other words, to deserve no. political defeat because it's straight from the flame. From the beliefs. I, think it, I think it deserved political defeat in 2006, which it got, and may dis deserve defeat now, but I disagree with what McCain is doing for this reason. I ran against George Bush's father in 1992 uh, on taxes, foreign policy, and other issues, but once you have your convention and you say, I said, I endorse Bush, the army marches together after that. McCain was right to separate himself from Bush, but to be coming down 12 days here attacking the President of the United States, which damages and demoralizes the base of the party, many of whom still love his guys, I don't think it's a smart thing to do. You're wasting your time. The battle now is Barack Obama or John McCain, and he ought to make that case. Well, in the wake of the Washington Times report about that uh, attack by McCain on his own president, here's a well, it's our president, but his own political leader, President Bush. Here's what the Politico's Mike Allen wrote this morning. One of the most senior Republican strategists, it's got to be Karl Rove, in the land, in the land, well, that's got to be Karl Rove, warns the McCain campaign after reading the Washington Times, quote, lashing out at past Republican Congresses instead of Pelosi and Reid and echoing your opponent's attacks on you instead of attacking your opponent and spending 150,000 hard dollars on designer clothes when congressional Republicans are struggling for money and when your senior campaign staff are blaming each other for the loss in the New York Times magazine 10 days before the election, you're not doing much to energize your supporters. The fact is, when you're the party standard bearer, you have an obligation to fight to the finish. That's a senior Republican advisor. I think it's Karl Rove, uh, because nobody else would get this kind of media protection, Bob Herbert, blasting at John McCain for blasting at President Bush, who Rove re uh, advised for all those years. Well, I imagine that McCain can't do much about the fighting behind the scenes, whether it's Rove or whoever, whatever the unnamed sources are. But the real problem that he's got is he has not had a real focus in this campaign. It's been incoherent. And now with, his, with him launching the attack on uh, uh, Bush, it's, it's more of the same. What he needed to do, I don't know if it's too late or not, but it, you know, he, he might as well do it now. What he needs to do is focus like a laser beam on this economy. Stop attacking Bush, stop attacking Barack Obama, look at this economic crisis and tell the voters, this is what I'm going to do to get America's economic house in order. Whoever's to blame, this is intolerable, and you need me in the White House to get it straightened out, and this is what I plan to do. He has not done that. I, I agree with Bob Herbert to a great degree on this. He needs a consistent message that differentiates himself from Barack Obama by what he's going to do, but tells the country what he's going to do. 
McCain hasn't done that, and, and you know, I don't like to criticize the guy because, look, it, there's a lot of Republicans out there that didn't want John McCain as nominee, yeah. unhappy with him. They don't like his record, except here and there. They're behind him. They're behind him and Palin. They're standing yeah. up. Ridge is one of them. Ridge probably disagrees with me and other folks. Ridge is like McCain in a lot of ways. Well, he's like McCain, but there are people that don't like McCain that are out okay, there okay, working their heart out We, we haven't done this enough, but since this election is going to be one of the most important in our lives, let's now, before it happens, you both guys have full philosophical points of view, and I've read you for years, both of you. What are the two or three issues that it matters, that this election matters? You believe in less government. You believe in less of a for, uh, adventurous foreign policy. I know your politics. Uh, You're a traditional conservative, I right? believe, I would say this. A non, look, we, we are overextended abroad. We, we're interventionist foreign policy. It's got to come to an end. It's going to come to an end. Secondly, the tr Supreme Court hangs in the balance. Okay. I think one more appointment and the conservatives could set issues back to the states where they belong. Third is the monstrous size and growth of government, which is going to eat this okay. country that's up. Three, that's three. That's and three. That's really <laughs> important. So Bob Herbert, respond to them in your own way. You don't have to react, but I, respond. I, I First of all, topic. less adventurism in foreign policy, less Iraqs, less imp incipient Irans. Or a smaller government here and a Supreme Court that, re that protects the rights of the states, not the federal government. In other words, doesn't create or establish rights nationally that the states have a right to dictate on themselves. What's your view? But if I, w if, if I were going to prioritize, I would say that, to that issue number one would have to be employment. How to get as many Americans back to work as possible. That's the only way you're going to get this consumer economy turned around. And I certainly agree with Pat about the adventures overseas, specifically Iraq. We have to wind that down because with, w without doing that, we won't be able to focus on these problems at home. The money won't be there. It'll be a continuing drain. So I think it's a one-two punch. Right. One, you got to put Americans let me, let me back to work, and you got to roll it back in Iraq. Uh, let me agree with Bob Herbert on definitely on the issue of jobs. That's why I think the free trade policies of the Republican Party have devastated the Republican Party base, but worth devastated the manufacturing base. Secondly, Chris, we have got to get control of our borders because if you don't soon, that border is going to disappear and the United States of America, its unity and everything will be at risk. You're consistent, Pat. I don't know if either of the candidates is addressing it in the way you'd like. No. That's right. Thank you, Pat Buchanan. McCain's close. Palin's close. Palin's close. Thank you, Bob <laughs> Herbert. I like these kind of conversations. They're going to matter a lot more after the election, perhaps. Right.